so where were we we'll quickly recap from the beginning our aim to show that if r0 less than 1 q star equal to 0 and to show that if r0 greater than 1 then q star greater than 0 this was our aim and then we found out a formula for qn which was 1 minus 1 minus p qn minus 1 to the power of k but our aim is to find q star right and we have defined a function we have looked at a function and the function was fx equals to 1 minus 1 minus px to the power of k and we have looked at that this q star is nothing but f of f of f of infinite times 1 and this is the value which we are after we need to find out what is this value let us see how do we find this value so what all we are having we are having f of x which is 1 minus 1 minus px to the power of k this is our f of x and our aim is to find f of f of f of infinite times 1 how do we find it first of all let us analyze what is this function how does this function look let's see how will this function look so let's say let's try to find f of 0 what will f of 0 be it will be 1 minus 1 minus 0 right which will be nothing but 0 so f of 0 is 0 and let's look at what is f of 1 f of 1 is 1 minus 1 minus p to the power of k and we know that p is something positive so this entire value is going to be less than 1 so f of 1 is something which is less than 1 f of 0 is 0 and f of 1 is something which is less than 1 Let's try. Let's try to see how will this plot look like. So I draw a plot here. Let's say the y-axis and x-axis, and here it is zero. Uh, okay, here it is zero comma zero. And I, I first of all I draw draw a line also here, and this sorry, and this is a line I say. what is this line you all know so this line is y equals to x and this point is 1 comma 1 right and let's see how will our function f of 0 look like our function f of 0 is first of all having a point here for sure because at 0 f of 0 is 0 and we know that f of 1 is something less than 1 so this point is f of 0 and f of 1 is going to lie somewhere here which is less than 1 so this point is f of 1 1 comma f of 1 so this point is 1 comma f of 1 okay we have seen the uh, starting point of this function and the ending point what happens during middle what happens here how does how does this function look like and that's also easy to calculate let us see how can we calculate that let's try to find out the slope of this function at this point Let's try to find out the slope of this function at this point. So, what is this slope? This slope we know is one, right? This slope is one, which is your forty-five degree tan of forty-five degree one. So, if at this point, so now see this function f of x can either go like this or go like this. when does this function go like this when the slope of this function here is less than 1 right if the slope is so because this is slope equal to 1 so if the, this is slope equal to 1 if slope less than 1 then this function will go from downwards of this function y equals to x and when will this function go like this it will go like this when the slope of this function is greater than 1 so let's first try to find out the slope of this function so what do we do to find out the slope of the function is to differentiate it so we have the function fx equals to 1 minus 1 minus px to the power of k let us differentiate it 
so f dash f dash of x becomes minus k one minus p x to the power of k minus one, right? Multiplied by differentiation of one minus p x, which is minus p. So this becomes equal to p k into one minus p x k minus one, right? So this is the slope of this function. and we are interested to find the slope of this function at x equals to 0 at origin so what is f dash of 0 f dash of 0 is pk into 1 minus 0 to the power of k minus 1 which is nothing but p into k isn't it amazing the slope of this function is p into k and what is p into k if you remember p into k is nothing but your basic reproductive number r0 from where we started and where we reached so you see we started off with this function f of x equals to 1 minus 1 minus px raised to the power k and then we try to plot this function and this is the line y uh, and this is the line y equals to Second, and this is the line y equals to x. Uh, this is the line y equals to x, and then we saw that here will be our point f of zero, and here will be our point f of one, and then we were interested in finding the slope of this function at this point, and it turned out that the slope of this function at origin. is nothing but the value of the basic reproductive number so just remember all this we have this f of x here and this function looks something like this and we wanted to find out f of f of f of f of infinite times 1 and then we try to look at this function the function turned out something like this and then we saw something amazing we saw that the slope of this function at origin is nothing but r0 so now we'll see For different values of r zero, that is r zero can be less than one or greater than one. How does this value, which is nothing but q star, turn out to be? And that will be the end of this proof, which will which will do in the coming up lecture.